which is the best programming language to get started as a web developer? I keep on getting this question all the time. And I'm going to be honest with you. This question is irrelevant. It's not about which is the best programming language. It's more about who and what. Now, you might say who and what? What you talking about, Joe? I'm going to tell you right now. Look, who will actually give you an opportunity, right? And then what do they actually need from you? to give you that opportunity. So if you have those things, you're golden. You're good to go. I mean, we all get excited about the benefits that you get as a developer. I mean, 401k, you get stock options, you get uh, PTO, you get health insurance, you get six figure income, right? You can make income on the side with the same skills that you use at your job. Like there's a lot of benefits of becoming a developer and that's what catches our attention. But where most people fail is not having an actual plan to getting into the industry, right? Most people just learn skills just to learn them because they seen a tutorial. They seen somebody talk about it on Twitter. They seen something got a lot of GitHub stars and they're like, man, I think I should learn this thing because it's popular or it's trending. And that's actually the wrong way to tackling getting into the tech industry. This is why most people do not get no visits on their portfolio. This is why most people did not get a call, right? This is why recruiters is not after you. You actually don't have the skills that most companies actually need from you. I mean, the ones that will actually give you an opportunity, not what they give into the guys who are mid and senior level positions. I'm talking about the companies that will give you an opportunity as a new developer with no experience, no degree, right? Maybe not even a certificate from a bootcamp, right? You pretty much learning online. So if you're gonna learn online, let's learn online, but with a plan. Really, what's the point of learning so many skills if you can't actually land a position, right? I mean, you might as well go online, buy yourself a big bottle and get a little kit and start building a little ship inside of a bottle. You might as well start doing that because what you have is a hobby. You're not really actually here making money with the skills that you are training yourself with, right? You're not actually selling your services. You're not actually getting any opportunities. So you might as well just call yourself a hobbyist, right? But if you want to change that, for the last five years, I've helped thousands of students get into the tech industry, either by giving them training or giving them advice, making sure that they have the things that they need to get actually in, right? This is something that not everybody focuses on. If you guys don't know me, some of you guys might see me here on YouTube or maybe on social media somewhere, right? Most of the people that do know me, they know that I focus on one thing, which is getting results, getting into the industry, making money with the skills that we have as developers. So we don't have to waste time, right? And when your family members look at you in front of a computer or your wife is looking at you in front of your computer, they don't look at you like you're a crazy person just click clacking all day with no results. We want to put money in your pocket. We want to make sure that you get into the industry. There's no point in having all the skills if you can't actually show the results. Now, I want to do the same thing for you that I did for all of my students. I want to make sure that you get into the industry as soon as possible with the least amount of skills, right? And the least amount of effort, putting you into a place where you're going to have the least amount of competition because these opportunities are here, but no one is paying attention to them. They don't know about these things. Probably some of the things that I'm going to mention to you, you probably don't even know that you could actually start applying. Some of the skills that you already have right now, you could have been already gotten into the industry, but you just didn't know. And it's fine, right? It's not something that's popular. It's not things that is like trending out here, uh, but they get results. I can tell you right now, once you get that first stamp into your resume, sky's the limit. Everything that you was trying to get out here, every position you was trying to go for, you have a higher chance of getting it because now you actually have experience. Okay. So again, if you are interested in this, 
I want you guys to click on this ad, click somewhere here on the screen, right? Or at the bottom on the description. And I want you guys to go in and follow me to uh, my website where I will go in and give you a free training. And I will give you the who and what you're going to actually get the results, right? Meaning who is actually looking for people like you to give them an opportunity and what you actually need to learn to be able to get those opportunities. So again, if you're interested in that, I'm going to see you guys in that free training. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. Peace.